Good evening, everyone. My name is Mr. Beck, and as principal, it is my pleasure to welcome you to this most unique Senior Awards Assembly for the class of 2020. Thank you, moms and dads, and other family members and friends who are viewing our celebration this evening. Congratulations first for figuring out this Zoom madness, but more importantly, for the role each of you have played in supporting the young men and women whose successes we honor this evening. To our students, the members of the class of 2020, together you hold a very special place in the history of Bishop Amat High School. There is no question that your achievements and the celebrations that are traditionally associated with the completion of your high school careers have been tempered by the circumstances of these past few months and weeks. These circumstances have created challenges that are unprecedented and most unique to you, our 60th graduating class of Bishop Amat High School. And for that reason, the accomplishments we celebrate this evening are collectively even more noteworthy than those who have gone before you. So while, to, while tonight's ceremony may be very different from any other in the history of our school, I say we embrace that as we give thanks to God for the young men and women of this most special class of 2020. As we begin our ceremony in prayer, I ask that we pray the words of St. Francis of Assisi, which I feel have particular resonance given the times that we are currently living through. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, it is my pleasure to introduce our 2020-2021 ASB Student Body President, Daniel Carrillo. Please place your right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now to deliver the official welcome on behalf of the class of 2020, it is my pleasure to introduce distinguished speaker, Kayla Pereno. Good evening to the faculty, family, and of course, my fellow seniors. My name is Kayla Pereno, and I've learned a lot these past four years. We all have. But for most of us, the most important lessons we learned and the ones we will keep with us forever were not part of the curriculum. How you should listen to the workers on the line because they know what's happening and to always keep it simple. I heard once, the world is a window that holds a sign. And you know what that sign says? It says that there is help wanted out there somewhere and all you have to do is try. All you have to do is play because life is a game. You play, you win, you play, you lose, you play. But if you're playing to win, the first thing that you have to do is apply within because the smallest dream that you try to make happen is worth more than the biggest dream you never pursue. And there's nothing too small worth fighting for. So don't let your biggest regret be the dream you didn't attempt, try. Because we are the future. We are the next leaders, teachers, doctors, innovators. We can't change the past, but we can impact the future. And this change won't just come. We can't just snap our fingers and create this dreamland. We need to be the change. 
We need to fight for what we believe in, fight for our dreams, fight for our lives, and put in the effort. Every single award that is given tonight is earned because of the effort you put in, you. Your work, your time, your talent, your pride, your blood, sweat, and tears, and your sleepless nights, your art. Because not all art is made from a pencil hitting a paper, but by your heart. And whatever medium it chooses, your choices belong to you. They will stay. Always something that shows the future who you were and what you stood for. And know that what you choose to stand for is what will inform them of what you've chosen to stand against, so stand. Let your whole being crash land into what you believe. Speak your convictions and stand. Because your voice is your weapon and your thoughts ammunition and silence left to its own devices breathes silence. So speak and be heard one word after the next. Express yourself and put your life in context. If you find that no one is listening, be loud, make noise, stand in poise and be open. Hope in these situations is not enough. Hope for the best, but plan for the worst and you will need someone to lean on. And if for some reason you find no one there, look again because that pain is part of the human condition, but we are not meant to carry it alone. We are not meant to carry it forever. So know that what pain belongs to now will soon belong to then, and there will be bad days. So that every bad day has an end. Ignore what others have called you. I am calling you friend because our journey is not over. Our time at AMA is not the end. This is only the beginning. This is not the last time we will hear the names Jacob Rodriguez, Gabriel Garcia, Hannah Becker, all of us, because we all have a voice. We all have our art. We all have our heart. We're all walking out onto this unfamiliar ground, but we are not going alone. And when one of us falls, because it will happen, they will look up to see 307 of us, 307 classmates, with our hands outstretched to help them up, because we are Lancers. We are steadfast, loyal, and true. We are the future, and despite everyone and everything who's tried to stop us, we will never be silenced. Thank you. Thank you, Kayla. And so now let's commence with the bestowing of awards. I have the pleasure of announcing our Academic Excellence Awards specific to our academic departments. The first students to be recognized this evening are the recipients of these awards. These awards are given to first and second honorees of each class within each of the nine academic departments that we have here at Bishop Amon. Please join me in congratulating the following students. From the Business and Computer Science Department, in the beginning office course, Second honors, Michael Allen. For web design, second honors, Isaiah Esparza. Rick Wu. And Alyssa Quintanilla. For game design, first honors, Jaden Verdusco. Second honors, Amanda Fong. For our introduction to business course, second honors, Brianna Macias. And for directed lab study, first honors, Roel Mendoza. For AP Computer Science Principles, first honors, Brandon Lay. Second honors, Gabriel Garcia and Danielle Sumter. Congratulations to all students from the Business and Computer Science Department. Moving on to our English Department. We will begin with English Four. First honors, Alyssa Quintanilla, Daniel Perez, and Nicholas Ramirez, Ornelas. Second honors, Anna Vo, 
Julia Ruiz, and Riley Acuna. For Honors British Literature, First Honors, Eliana Pedrosa. Second Honors, Andrew Zuniga and Tatiana Garcia. For AP English Literature, First Honors, Lucia Morales. Second Honors, Natalie Rodriguez. For IB English Higher Level 2, First Honors, Kayla Pereno. Second Honors, Andrea Barbosa Ramirez. For Shakespeare, First Honors, Isabella Davila and Jaden Verdusco. Second Honors, Logan Roberson and Gabriel Garcia. For Literature and Film, First Honors, Alyssa Thorpe and Salvador Rodriguez. Second Honors, Logan Roberson and Ashley Martinez. For Journalism, First Honors, Jaden Verdusco. Second Honors, Richard Duran and Kyle Miranda. Moving on to our Family and Consumer Sciences Department. For Clothing One, First Honors, Juliana Ortega. Second Honors, James Henriquez. For Clothing Two, First Honors, Andrea Barbosa Ramirez. Second Honors, Gabriela Thornell. For Child Development, First Honors, Emily Macias. Second Honors, Nicholas Ramirez Ornelas. For our mathematics courses, we'll begin with math analysis. First honors, Riley Acuna. Second honors, Sophia Flores. For honors math analysis, first honors, Jared Jenner. For our Advanced Algebra Trigonometry course, first honors, Charles Inoue. For Intermediate Algebra, first honors, Ariadna Tavares. Second honors, Jacob Hastings. For IB Mathematics Standard Level, First Honors, Anna Vo. Second Honors, Jairo Santos. For Statistics, huh. First Honors, oh, okay. Jaden Verdusco. Second Honors, Lucas Valero. For AP Statistics, First Honors, Charlotte Zhang. Second Honors, Bobby Wang. For AP Calculus, AB, First Honors, 
Natalie Rodriguez and Lucia Morales. Second honors, Melissa Chung. For AP Calculus BC, first honors, Allison Tsai. Moving on to our theology department, we'll begin with Christian vocations. First honors, Natalie Castro. Second honors, Jaden Verdusco. For Christian vocations, faith in action. First honors, Ryan Perez. Second honors, Alicia Henderson. For our sacred scripture course, first honors, Ashley Martinez. Second honors, Julia Ruiz. For world religions, first honors, Lucia Morales. Second honors, Andrea Barbosa Ramirez. For Christian discipleship with faith in action, first honors, Jair Mejia II. Second honors, Stephanie Charland. Congratulations to all recipients from our theology department. Our next, our next academic department is science, and we will begin with marine biology. First honors, Andrew Zuniga. Second honors, Lucia Morales. For anatomy and physiology, first honors, Luis Barrios. For honors, anatomy and physiology, First honors, Lucia Morales. Second honors, Robert Centeno. For physics, first honors, Brandon Lay. Second honors, Daniel Perez. For honors physics, first honors, Natalie Castro. Second honors, Abigail Villasis. And for AP Physics 1, first honors, Allison Sai. Second honors, Bobby Wang. For AP Chemistry, first honors, Charlotte Zhang. Moving on to our social studies department, we'll begin with U.S. government. First honors goes to Charles Inouye and Ian Butter. Second honors, Christian Contreras. For economics, first honors, Veronica Vartinian and Alyssa Quintanilla and Lucia Morales. For honors U.S. government, first honors, Richard Guru and Lucas Valero. For honors economics, first honors, Zoe Ion. Second honors, Danielle Sumter. For AP, U.S. Government and Politics, first honors, Lucia Morales. And Allison Sai. For AP Macroeconomics, first honors, Abigail Villasis. Second honors, 
Kayla Pereno, and Jaden Verdusco. For psychology, first honors, Taylor Torres, and Daniel Perez. For honors psychology, first honors, Olivia Marufo. Second honors, Alyssa Thorpe. For AP Psychology, first honors, Jaden Verdusco. Moving on to IB Economics Standard Level. First honors, Madison Tarin. Second honors, Emilia Paragas. For criminal justice, first honors, Damian Moore. Second honors, CJ Cardona. For IB, History of the Americas Higher Level, first honors, Vienna Serna. Second honors, Andrea Barbosa Ramirez and Madison Tarin. For IB Theory of Knowledge, first honors, Isabel Rodriguez. Second honors, Amelia Paragas. Our next department is Visual and Performing Arts. We'll begin with Art One, first honors, Raquel Sanchez. Second honors, Jaden Del Mar. For art two, Isabella Gallardo. For our digital photography course, first honors, Nicholas Ramirez Ornelas. Second honors, Carmen Martinez. For advanced band, First honors, Alyssa Thorpe. For beginning dance, first honors, Sasha Salazar. Second honors, Emilia Paragas. For intermediate dance, first honors, Dominica Enea. For Lancer Chorus, First honors, James Leon and Sasha Salazar. Second honors, Isabella Torres. For dance production, first honors, Madison Tarin. Second honors, Ashley Martinez. And for honors chamber singers, first honors, Kayla Pereno. Second honors, Francisco Sengupta. For advanced placement studio art, first honors, Danielle Sumter. Second honors, Natalie Alfaro. For Digital Design One Graphics, first honors, Darius Corpus. Second honors, Michael Allen. For Digital Design Two Multimedia, first honors, Darius Corpus. For Advanced Yearbook, first honors, Joy Berrigan. Our final academic department is World Languages. We'll begin with Spanish three. First honors, Hector Perez. For IB Spanish, higher level, first honors, Chiara Pascuso. 
Second honors, Andrea Barbosa Ramirez. For Latin II, first honors, Anna Vo. For IB Latin, higher level one, first honors, Charlotte Zhang. For IB Latin, higher level two, first honors, Natalie Rodriguez. Second honors, Carlos Zaragoza. And for IB French, higher level, first honors, Carlos Zaragoza. For AP Spanish Language and Culture, Vienna Serna, first honors. The following student has earned a very special award for his excellence in the 2019 National Latin Exam. The student was joined by students from all 50 states, as well as 16 other countries. His commitment to studying the ancient world and languages is evident in his successes. Please join me in congratulating the National Latin Exam Summa Cum Laude Award recipient, Carlos Zaragoza. Students who earned the distinction of being inducted into the National Latin Honor Society have earned a grade of A throughout their Latin studies and have completed at least three years of Latin. For being inducted into the National Latin Honor Society, the following students are to be recognized. As you can see, Charlotte Zhang, Natalie Rodriguez, Kayla Pereno, and Carlos Zaragoza. I would like to congratulate all those who have received awards in the World Languages Department and for all departmental awards received here tonight. Moving on to the next category of awards, which recognizes those students who have achieved academic excellence over the four year career at Bishop Amat High School. To present these awards, it is my pleasure to introduce English teacher and assistant principal academics, Mr. Gabriel Escobar. Bishop Amat is proud to award medals for academic excellence to the following seniors for their outstanding achievements over their four-year high school careers. The title of First Honors is given to those who have earned an overall grade point average of 3.5 or higher. The distinctive title of Gold Recognition is awarded to those students who have maintained a cumulative GPA of 4.0 or higher for their entire four years of high school. Please join me in recognizing the outstanding achievements of the following gold recognition recipients as their names are displayed. The next group of students are going to be recognized for their ability to maintain an overall GPA between 3.5 and 3.99 over their four years at Bishop Amat. For this achievement, bronze recognition is awarded to the following students whose names will be displayed. And finally, for maintaining a cumulative GPA between 3.0 and 3.49, the following seniors are awarded a certificate for second honors.
We are very proud of these distinguished members of the class of 2020 for their outstanding achievement in graduating with a cumulative GPA of 3.0 or higher. We are proud of their commitment to academic excellence. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce our college counselor, Mr. Michael Scott, who will present the next category of special awards. The National Hispanic Recognition Program is under the auspices of the college board. The scholar designation is awarded to students based on their performance on the PSAT and for maintaining a GPA above 3.5. We recognize the following students. Roberto Centeno, Gabriel Garcia, Lucia Morales, Alejandro Reyes, Natalie Rodriguez, Jaden Verdusco. The Kenneth Butera Scholarship was established in memory of Mr. Kenneth Butera. Mr. Butera and his wife Anne had four children who attended and graduated from Bishop Amat. His loyalty to Bishop Amat continued long after their graduation. He still followed the success of our sports teams, especially football, and sponsored a scholarship in memory of Mrs. Butera. Mr. Butera loved music, gardening, good food, and his family. His children are the sponsors of this award. The winners of this year's scholarships are Jaden Miramontes, Isabella Sanchez, The Kathleen Taylor Scholarship was established in memory of Kathleen Taylor, a member of the class of 1979 who, who died in 1978. She was a role model for young people by her participation as president of the California Scholarship Federation, an honor student, and a cheerleader. Kathleen showed great love for her family and her friends at Bishop Amat. Those who knew her and loved her did not want her spirit to perish. A scholarship was established in her name to recognize seniors who strive to present that spirit in their lives. For many years, Kathleen's parents, Frank and Rita Taylor, were the primary benefactors of the scholarships. Kathleen's siblings have continued this tradition to honor both Kathleen and their late parents. Two students were selected to receive this prestigious award. Roberto Centeno and Julia Ruiz. The College Board recognizes students who have consistently performed well on their AP examinations. The following students were awarded the honor of AP Scholar for receiving grades of three or higher on three or more AP exams. Please join me in congratulating Christina Banuelos, Natalie Castro, Aaron Iglesias, Brandon Lay, Kayla Perino, Ileana Pedrosa, Annika Ruiz, Morgan Rust, Isabella Sanchez, Raquel Sanchez, Frank Wang, Rick Wu, and Charlotte Zhang. The following students were recognized as AP Scholars with Honor for receiving an average grade of at least 3.25 on all AP exams taken and grades of three or higher on four or more of these exams. 
These awardees are Hannah Becker, Roberto Centeno, Jaden Miramontes, Logan Roberson, Nathan Cibrian, Jaden Verdusco, Kenneth Wang, and Carlos Zaragoza. The following students are recognized as AP Scholars with Distinction for receiving an average grade of at least 3.5 on all AP exams taken and grades of three or higher on five or more of these exams. Please join me in congratulating these outstanding students. Gia Cao, Isabella Davila, Gabriel Garcia, Lucia Morales, Violet Pang, Alejandro Reyes, Natalie Rodriguez, Allison Sai. Four students are members of the 14th cohort of diploma candidates in the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program at Bishop Amat High School. Over the past two years, each candidate has taken a minimum of nine IB courses, has completed a 4,000 word independent research paper, has conducted an additional 150 hours of their time towards their creativity, act activity and service projects, and has taken two years of mandatory summer school, all while maintaining a B average each year. For their hard work and dedication to academics and in recognition of their accomplishments over the past two years, these seniors have been awarded a silver IB medal to wear with their stoles and academic honor cords at graduation. Please join me in congratulating the following students. Melissa Chung, Andrea Barbosa Ramirez, Madison Tarin, Amelia Paragas. The Distinguished Scholars Program was created at Bishop Amat to formally recognize AP scholars, IB diploma students, and other students that participated in both programs. These students are presented an honor stole to wear at graduation in recognition of outstanding academic achievement. Distinguished scholars include students who achieve a 3.5 GPA, 90% attendance rate, and 100 Christian service hours. In addition, they must take a rigorous course load, which can be met by completing at least six AP and or IB courses. Please join me in congratulating the following seniors who will wear a distinguished scholar stole at graduation. Natalie Alfaro, Gabrielle Atencio, Christina Banuelos, Andrea Barbosa Ramirez, Hannah Becker, Sebastian Burgos, Andrea Camargo, Audrey Camargo, Gia Cow, Benjamin Cardenas, Natalie Castro, Roberto Centeno, Melissa Chung, Hannah Conchas, Isabella Davila, Diana Delgado, Alia Durazo, Gabriel Garcia, Bobby Wang, Aaron Iglesias, Samantha Jacobs, Brandon Lee, Gabriel Macabagdal, Olivia Marufo, Daniel Martinez, Ariane Mata, Jaden Miramontes, Lucia Morales, Sarah Palma, Keone Peoner, 
Kayla Perino, Chiara Pascuso, Ileana Pedrosa, Violet Peng, Ryan Perez, Alejandro Reyes, Logan Roberson, Isabel Rodriguez, Natalie Rodriguez, Salvador Rodriguez, Annika Ruiz, Julia Ruiz, Morgan Rust, Alexis Salas, Sasha Salazar, Isabella Sanchez, Raquel Sanchez, Vienna Serna, Nathan Cibrian, Madison Tarin, Samuel Tavares, Allison Sai, Jaden Verdusco, Abigail Biasis, Amigo Villegas, Frank Wang, Rick Wu, Carlos Zaragoza, Charlotte Zhang, Renee Zhang, and Edmund Zhu. Congratulations to these outstanding scholars. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce theology teacher and Christian service moderator, Mr. Bernie Kasselak, who will present the next category of awards. Thank you, Mr. Scott. Christian service in recognition of the call of our faith is a central tenet of what we believe in as a faith-filled family at Bishop Amma. The following seniors have taken this call very seriously and have given their time and energies to volunteer for 200 hours or more. This sincerely speaks to the heart of what it is to be a true Christian. Please join me in honoring the following seniors. Celeste Gonzalez, Madison Tarin, Gabriel Macabaddal, Lilia Ramirez, Ariana Rizzo, Allison Tsai, James Leon, Isabella Legaspi, Miranda Alquin, Chiara Pascuso, Veronica Vartanian, Lucia Morales, Ryan Perez, Richard Guru, and Daniela Alatore. At this time, we will now recognize three of our seniors who earlier this year received the Archdiocesan Christian Service Award from Archbishop Jose Gomez in recognition of their outstanding dedication to living out their faith at their school, their parishes, and within their community. Please join me in congratulating them as I mention their name and share their amazing accomplishments. Our first Lancer, Kayla Perino. Kayla was actively involved in two parishes. At the Holy Name of Mary Church in San Dimas, she volunteered as a junior catechist and was also a confirmation assistant. And for all of you who have been through the confirmation process, you know this involved a lot of evenings and weekend meetings. Still with so much energy, our Lancer also volunteered at St. Dorothy Church in Glendora, where she altar served. She also tutored elementary school kids and was a youth leader in vacation Bible school during summers. In the community, she was a regular volunteer at the Glendora Public Library and helped in coaching valuable for kids. In our school, she was a peer tutor, a choir member. She had gone all four years to adopt a grandparent and also represented our school as a student ambassador. To paraphrase Kayla, she said, ever since she was younger, 
she, had a, she has been happy to serve and make people feel loved and understood. With more than 900 hours of verified Christian service, congratulations to our awardee, Kayla Brino. Our next Lancer, Luke Rivera. Luke was also actively involved in two parishes. At St. Angela Church in Brea, he helped as a confirmation assistant. During Masses, he was an all-around volunteer who altar served, ushered, and he also was a lector. At St. Dennis Church in Diamond Bar, he volunteered in Vacation Bible School and represented his church at the Youth Day during the Religious Education Congress in Anaheim. In the community, Luke showed a strong passion and support for people overcome physical and mental challenges by serving as a camp counselor with the organization RAD. And RAD stands for Rising Above Disabilities. He also helped at the City of Diamond Bar, Parks and Recreation, Make-A-Wish Foundation, and help at the Masses for People with Special Needs through the Lantern Man program. In school, Luke was a CSF tutor, a school ambassador, played a prominent role in Faith in Action class, and was highly involved in our annual Footprints Poverty Awareness Walk. With more than 1,200 hours of verified Christian service, he will continue his passion for service by joining the NET ministry this fall. Congratulations, Luke Rivera. Our third Lancer, Julia Ruiz. Julia has always seen service as an essential component to our purpose on this earth. From small acts of kindness to volunteer programs, Julia believes an act of service could go a long way in changing this world for the better. At St. Mary's of the Assumption Parish in Whittier, she regularly taught Sunday school, helped feed the homeless, and every summer, she was a junior leader in Vacation Bible School. In the community, she regularly volunteered at Dale Haven, Children's Museum of La Habra, and still had enough time to be involved with Ryan's case for Smile. It's a charity that makes pillowcases for kids with cancer. In school, she was an athletic trainer. She supported various on-campus service programs and was also one of our student ambassadors. Her favorite quote is, a person's most useful asset is not a head full of knowledge, but a heart full of love, an ear ready to listen, and a hand willing to help. With more than 770 hours of verified Christian service, congratulations to Julia Ruiz. Our three Lancers have exemplified goodness, discipline, and knowledge. Congratulations on your outstanding effort to live out and share your faith so generously. And at this time, I would like to introduce Alumni Relations Coordinator and Head Football Coach, Mr. Steve Haggerty, who will present the next category of awards. Our tradition-rich athletic program is an essential part of the educational journey a young person receives during his or her time at Bishop Mott High School, as evidenced by a participation rate of over 80%. Through their daily dedication to their sport, Lancer student athletes learn core values of effort, discipline, self-sacrifice, commitment, and personal responsibility. Maybe most importantly, 
how to work effectively with others. All of this creates a well-rounded young person who is prepared for all the challenges that life will put in front of them. Tonight, we have a special group of seniors we want to acknowledge. Those who lost their spring season of sport. We especially feel for you as this year comes to a close for losing the ability to compete with your teammates and coaches one last time at the high school level. For most of you, the loss of senior night, pregame meals, league and playoff achievements, individual awards, bonding on bus rides, being a team captain, pregame pep talks, post-game gatherings, and the absolute joy of being involved in competitive game situations with your teammates was a very bitter pill to swallow. We salute your ability to accept things out of your control as it is a reflection of your growth and readiness to move on to the next phase of your life. At this time, we want to acknowledge our scholar athletes. Our scholar athletes are a very special breed. There seems to be a point when young athletes have to decide if they are all in or not. Will they reach within themselves to discover the will and the dedication necessary to excel both in the academic classroom and athletically outside of it? We are blessed at Bishpomat to have many young people who have devoted themselves to this particular endeavor. The following were selected as scholar athletes on their respective teams. Elijah Ponder. Emilia Baragas. Morgan Rust. Hannah Becker. Diana Delgado. Hannah Conchas. Audrey Camargo. Andrea Camargo. Aaron Cuenca. Lilia Ramirez. Evan Furukawa. Roberto Centeno. Lucia Morales. Brandon Lay. Morgan Rust. Gabriel Macabagdal. Rick Wu. Jaden Delmar. Kate. Nugent, Eric Valdez, and Jaden Mitamontes. The following seniors earn the honor of all CIF in their respective sports. Morgan Rust, Mia Ross, Damian Moore, Ethan Rodriguez, Peter Silva, and a very prestigious honor, the CIF Player of the Year, Girls Basketball, Morgan Rust. To be eligible for consideration, for the CIF Southern Section Award, a student athlete must maintain a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or better and be specifically chosen by the respective team's coach. Only one male student and one female student may be chosen to receive this distinction. Please join me in congratulating 2019-2020 CIF 
Southern Section Female Student Athlete of the Year, Lucia Morales. And the 2019-2020 CIF Southern Section Male Student Athlete of the Year, Roberto Centeno. Mr. Beck will now continue tonight's ceremony with another special presentation. Thank you, Mr. Haggerty. The Pat Hayden Award is presented to a student who best typifies the athletic and academic ability that distinguished alumnus Pat Hayden contributed to the Bishop Amat tradition upon his graduation in 1971. The criteria that must be met by this awards recipient are quite demanding. To be eligible for consideration, a student athlete must maintain a cumulative minimum grade point average of 3.5, be a starter in two or more sports, be named to first team all league in at least one sport, and be the recipient of the Scholar Athlete Award in at least one sport. Due to these rigorous criteria, there are some years in which no Pat Hayden recipient is named. However, this year there is a member of the class of 2020 who has in fact fulfilled each requirement to receive the Pat Hayden Award. Our recipient this year has been a three sport athlete, lettering in cross country, track and field, and basketball. She has been part of the Delray League cross country team, which won the league championship for each of the four years of her participation. She was a member of the 2018 Delray Girls Track and Field Championship team. In 2016, our recipient participated as a member of the girls cross country state runner up team. And just this past winter, on February 29th, leap day to be exact, she helped our girls basketball team capture the CIF championship. Individually, she has been named first team, all Delray league and cross country, track and field and basketball. First team, all CIF in cross country and basketball. And will soon have her jersey placed in the Carroll Center Hall of Fame for being named the CIF Girls Basketball Player of the Year. Our recipient is truly a scholar athlete. She has earned this distinction for both cross country and track and field while maintaining a cumulative grade point average of 4.44 throughout her high school career. In the fall, she will be continuing her studies at the University of St. Louis. I am proud to name the recipient of the 2020 Pat Hayden Award as Morgan Taylor Rust. I know Morgan and her mom and dad are watching. Congratulations, Morgan. We are so proud of you for this most well-deserved honor. And now I would like to introduce English teacher and activities director, Mrs. Courtney Lehman, as she will present the next category of awards. Certificates are awarded to the following seniors for their outstanding service to Bishop Amat as officers of the Associated Student Body. Please join me in recognizing the following students. ASB President, Riley Acuna. ASB Vice President, Gabriel Garcia. ASB Treasurer, Richard Guru, and ASB Secretary, Aiden Sanchez. Senior Class President, CJ Cardona. Senior Class Vice President, James Henriquez. Senior Class Treasurer, Salvador Rodriguez. And Senior Class Secretary, Aliyah Durazo. Congratulations to all of the officers who made the 2019-2020 school year such a success. National Honor Society Awards. The following students are members of the National Honor Society. They have earned the distinction of wearing blue and gold honor cords at graduation for maintaining continuous membership for four semesters during their four years at Bishop Mott High School. 
they have maintained a cumulative GPA of 3.3 or higher and have received an invitation to seek membership in NHS. After completing the NHS information form, final selection is determined by the Faculty Selection Committee and is based on the extent of the student's commitment to service, leadership, and positive character. The following seniors have been members of the National Honor Society in every semester possible. For 100% membership of all six semesters, they will receive a diploma seal in addition to the blue and gold honor cords. Please join me in congratulating the following students. Congratulations to all our National Honor Society students. Now, the California Scholarship Federation. The following students are members of a very prestigious California Scholarship Federation. These seniors have consistently fulfilled these tutoring expectations for at least four semesters, one of which was during their senior year, and will graduate as CSF seal bearers and with the CSF seal on their diploma, and are bestowed with gold CSF honor cords to be worn at graduation. CSF demands the highest standards of academic excellence for participation. Service to others in the school community is an integral component of the CSF philosophy. All members of CSF are expected to apply their academic talents by providing tutoring to other Bishop of Mott students. In addition to earning seal bearer status on their diplomas, these seniors have the lifetime membership pin and the honor of wearing gold honor cords at graduation as they have demonstrated consistent academic excellence over the course of the last six semesters. The following seniors have maintained CSF membership since the first semester of their sophomore year and as such have earned distinction as life membership highest honor recipients. They have earned every award possible for a CSF member to receive. And congratulations to all these leadership students. Thank you, Mrs. Lehman. And now, to provide the closing address to his peers, it is my pleasure to introduce distinguished speaker, Jaden Verdusco. All right. Okay, hello everybody. I wanna say first, congratulations to all of you for um, doing such a great job, all these awards, it's amazing. And I'm truly honored to be in front of you speaking to you today, even though it's in this format. And I really hope that uh, these last words can really uh, leave a lasting impact. So you've probably heard how we're that class, you know, that will go down in history as that one who, whose years was cut off short or how we persevere to the end in uncertain circumstances. So I'm sure you're aware of that sentiment. And we are fast approaching the halfway mark of 2020. And I'm sure most of us would agree that this is one of the worst years when it comes to the world at large during the 18 or so years we've been on this planet. And that's uh, scary to think about. And that's apart from the fact that these next couple of years, that transition into adulthood, right, are supposed to be the most intense, the most transformative and life-changing years of our lives. So what are we going to do about it? Now, here's what I need to emphasize and leave you with. Circumstances don't make us special. It's what we do with it. It's not about what happens, but how we respond. I'm sure you've heard that before. Now, consider for a moment if we finished 
as expected, right? We got our prom, we got our end of year activities, et cetera, all that good stuff. What would be the result of that? Well, we'll probably move on as any other class. I mean, sure, we're different in that 2020 sounds cool, right? It's good branding, uh, but is that it? Is that all we're called to do? I think we're called to do more than that. And here we are facing the challenge of the century in the midst of a tense and bruised world. That means it's our job to cure that, right? Now I get it, it would have been much more comfortable to just have our fun, move on with our careers and focus on our lives, you know, just move on, right? High school is a great part of our lives and we just go about our day. And I understand that underlying sense of frustration of the fact that we're losing and missing out on things that so many others before us have been able to enjoy. So we can only look forward. Now listen carefully to these words from the Apostle Paul. Whatever gain I had, I counted as loss for the sake of Christ. Indeed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake, I have suffered the loss of things and count them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God that depends on the faith that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and may share in his sufferings, becoming like him in his death, that by any means possible, I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already obtained this or I'm already perfect, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. So it sounds difficult, but it's clear what we should do. But you are no strangers to that concept. You spent the last four years dealing with the same idea, right? You knew that essay or that project was going to be difficult. You knew it was gonna take some time, energy, and attention. There are a million other things you would have much rather do at that moment, but it was clear what should have been done. You knew that joining that sport, joining that club, taking on that job, doing more and more service hours, you knew it'd be a real challenge, but it was clear what should be done in order for you to better yourself as a scholar and leader and serve the kingdom of God. So with that, I expect nothing but the best effort to press forward to Christ, no matter what's going on out there, regardless of your personal gains or losses, because we suffer the loss that we may gain in Christ through his righteousness gifted to us mercifully. I know you are all willing and capable of getting through this situation. We would have all liked it to turn out a little differently, right? But the focus isn't behind us anymore. This is what we need now to grow, to prove ourselves, to earn our keep. How you handle these next couple of years will change the trajectory of your entire life. Now, as we depart, let's not think of excuses or ways out. This is reality. This is the world we live in. This is our fight. We're all in it. And I'm so happy to be in it with you. Thank you. And God bless. Thank you, Jaden. And now to present our final awards of the evening, it is my pleasure to, to introduce our school president, Monsignor Aiden Carroll. Thank you very much, Mr. Beck. I want to express a very warm welcome to all of the participants in the Bishop of Mott Senior Awards Assembly for the class of 2020. For those who track such things, this is the 60th such assembly in the history of the school. It scares me just a little bit to think that I have been part of 28 of them. But for absolute certainty, this is one that I will never forget, nor I'm sure will any of you watching here this evening. Mr. Beck informs me that we are on, are on a Zoom webinar. Being a little challenged in the world of technology, I just take his assurance as to that fact, trusting that all of you can see and hear me out there. And so I greet you, parents, guardians, family members, counselors, administrators, and of course, a very, very special good evening to the distinguished members of the class of 2020. My main assignment is to introduce the two very talented students who will serve as salutatorian 
and valedictorian of the class of 2020. But first, I would like to take a moment to express my gratitude and congratulations to some very special groups of people. First of all, you uh, wonderful parents and guardians up there in the virtual bleachers. Your sons and daughters are about to reach a very significant milestone in their lives. You are deeply entitled to be proud of them and to share their joyful spirit. In no small measure, your love and support enable them to achieve the pinnacles of perfection and success that we have highlighted here this evening. I know they thank you for all you have done on their behalf, and so do I. Virtual students, let us hear it for your parents. And secondly, I want to address our teachers and counselors, administrators, and in a very, very special way, our distinguished principal, Mr. Richard Beck. Faculty members and staff, because of your unceasing dedication and commitment, you fully deserve to share in those students' successes. Your expertise in developing and deploying our virtual education system during the past terrible months have been to me truly awesome. I am deeply grateful to each and every one of you. And finally, I want to reach out with all my heart to you, the distinguished members of the class of 2020. I cannot find adequate words to express how I have miss, missed interacting with you during these final months of your high school careers at Bishop Amat. I grieve with you over the loss of so many of the rites of passage to which you look forward with justifiable anticipation. I marvel, however, at the maturity that you have demonstrated in dealing with this unforeseen and unavoidable ad adversity. Please accept my congratulations on all the fantastic things that you have achieved during your student days in the classroom, on the athletic fields, in the fine arts, in the performing arts, in Christian service, and in a host of extracurricular activities. You should be very, very proud of these achievements. By your outstanding efforts, you have brought honor not only to yourselves, but to your families and to our schools. And I not only congratulate you, I also want to thank you for the many ways that you have enhanced and embellished the heritage of Bishop Amat High School as you pass through its halls. Each class that preceded you since 1961 made such a contribution, but your contribution has been as great as any, and for that we are deeply grateful to you. I want you to wish, to wish you unbounded success and happiness in the years ahead in college and career and family that in God's providence lie ahead of you. We love you, class of 2020. You will always be in our thoughts and prayers. The introduction of our student speakers. Lancer Life provides that we use four criteria for the selection of the valedictorian and salutatorian of the graduating class. These are sound character as defined by the gospel, a record of service to Bishop Amat High School, noteworthy academic achievement, and ability to compose and deliver a speech. During the second semester, all seniors with GPAs of 4.25 and above are invited to apply for these distinguished roles. In the class of 2020, a total of 43 individuals were eligible to submit formal applications, 20 chose to do so. The faculty having studied the grades and the applications of the 20 voted to identify the four top students from among that elite group. The four then delivered five minute speeches before a panel of seven teachers who made recommendations to Mr. Beck and, my, and me on the respective merits of the speeches. 
We were then faced with the extremely difficult task of choosing between four of the most academically gifted and community service oriented students that we have been privileged to encounter in our professional careers. You get some idea of how difficult it was to choose our valedictorian and salutatorian when I tell you that our two student speakers this evening, Kayla Elizabeth Pereno and Jaden Isaiah Perdusco, were among the four finalists. Kayla is a graduate of Holy Name of Mary Elementary School and a very active member of its thriving parish. She brought honor to Bishop Amat by being a recipient, a recipient of the Archdiocese of Los Angeles Christian Service Award, having completed more than 1,000 hours of service in a dazzling array of activities. She will graduate from Bishop Amat High School with a GPA of 4.57, in an academic program that encompassed seven honors or accelerated courses, seven advanced placement courses. She will attend the University of Southern California in the fall, where she will pursue a degree in health and human services. Jaden is a graduate of South Hills Academy and for the past four years has been a leading light amidst the Bishop Amat student body. His role as anchor of our weekly Lancers in the News show enabled him to project an image of himself as a very bright, intelligent, dedicated young man committed to going the extra mile to be of service to the school community. He was the founder and first president of the Students for Life Club. Jaden will graduate from Bishop Amat High School with a GPA of 4.7 in an academic program that encompassed eight advanced placement courses and eight honors classes. He will attend California State University in Long Beach in the fall, intending to major in business management and marketing. Kayla and Jaden, thank you for the very enlightened and hope-filled ideas you shared with us this evening. Congratulations on all that you have achieved during your distinguished high school careers at Bishop Mott. Virtual students, let's have a nice round of applause for Kayla and Jaden. The salutatorian of the class of Bishop Amat in, for the year 2020. Here at Bishop Amat High School, we are very conscious of our identity as an institution grounded in the rich tradition of Catholic Christian education. Constantly, we require candidates of these high offices to demonstrate that they are of sound character as defined by the gospel. I am very pleased to affirm that both of our candidates have done so at very high levels. Let us begin with the remarkable young woman who will represent her classmates as the salutatorian of the class of 2020. In her written application, she declares, that in dealing with all her peers, she is driven to be compassionate. My restless nature, she wrote, wrote, will not allow me to sit still when I know that others are in need of help. What a beautiful embodiment of a gospel value. This generous tendency on, in her personality has motivated her to fulfill in an exemplary manner our second criterion calling for service to Bishop Abbott High School. Having studied her application, I have to interject that if I were to list all of the activities in which she has become involved, we would be here until dawn and would be caught out in the curfew. The following is just a partial listing thereof. Thanksgiving basket event, CSF president, NHS vice president, back to school and parent-teacher conferences, a school ambassador, dance team varsity captain, adopt a grandparent, Bishop Amat Dance Clinic, Dalhaven Senior Community Helper, the Interact Club, and the list just goes on and on. As to our third criterion calling for academic excellence, let the assembly be aware that our salutatorian will graduate with a GPA of 4.60, 
in an academic program that encompassed 12 advanced placement classes, biology, European history, calculus, AB, English language, chemistry, US history, calculus BC, English literature, physics one, US government and politics, macro, microeconomics, computer science principles. She also completed seven honors classes. She has received some special honors, the, the, the Rensselaer Medalist from the University of Rensselaer in New York, Region Scholar, UCI, Region Scholar, US, UCSD, and the Berkeley Undergraduate Scholarship. In the fall, she will attend Harvey Mudd College, where she will pursue a degree in bioengineering. Need I say that Bishop Ahmad High School is extremely proud to have played a role in the academic and personal formation of this very gifted young woman. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased and honored to introduce to you the salutatorian of the class of 2020, Alison Zoe Ann Tsai. Virtual applause. the valedictorian of the class of 2020. And so we turn our attention to yet another outstanding young woman who will fulfill the prestigious role of valedictorian of, of the class of 2020. As with Alison, I am proud to attest that she admirably fulfilled our first criterion for that role, exhibit sound character as defined by the gospel. Drawing inspiration from the words of Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount, she has sought to be pure of heart and a peacemaker. The former goal has led her to find the Lord in being of service to those most in need, the latter to be a good listener. Someone, she writes, whom my friends can talk to when they feel alone or down in spirits. I want to live as Jesus wants me to, she writes, doing the best I can to help as many people as possible. A faithful member of Our Lady of the Assumption Parish in Claremont, she will be a confirmation sponsor for her younger sister, Julia, later in the year. Our second criterion calls on candid candidates to report on the ways they have served the Ahmad family. As with Allison, I would have to take a very, very, very deep breath if I were to go through all that she has done in service to our school. The following are but some selected highlights. National Honor Society, three years. California Scholastic Federation, three years. Drama Club, with six leading stage appearances. Advanced Placement Club, Varsity Swim Team, four years. Student Ambassador, more than 300 hours. City of Hope Cheek Swab Drive, Summer Camp Worker, Girl Scout Gold Awardee, Our Lady of Assumption Fiesta Worker. It's not the hour, she writes. I just love Alma. As to the third criterion, academic excellence, let the assembly be aware that the valedictorian will graduate with the cumulative average, average of, uh, of 4.63 in an academic program that encompassed 10 advanced placement courses, human geography, European history, biology, English language, psychology, United States history, government, calculus AB, English literature, physics one, and seven honors courses. At the end of her junior year, she was one of 40 young women from a nationwide uh, selection pool participate in the prestigious MIT Women's Technology Program. In the fall, she will also attend Harvey Mudd College in Pomona, where she will pursue a degree in biology or mechanical engineering. Need I say again that Bishop Amat is extremely proud to have played a role in the academic and personal formation uh, of this very gifted young woman. Virtual ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased and honored 
to introduce to you the valedictorian of the class of 2020, Lucia Marika Portia Morales. Lots of virtual applause. Thank you, Mr. Beck. Thank you, Monsignor. And congratulations again to all four of our finalists, to Kayla, to Jaden, to Allison, our salutatorian, and to Lucia, our valedictorian. Before we bring this evening to a close, I would like to ask that all of us gathered end our ceremony with a closing prayer in which we ask God's blessing on all 308 members of the class of 2020. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, you are the source of every gift and talent shared among the young men and women we have celebrated this evening. We thank you for the qualities of moral integrity, good works, and Christian leadership demonstrated by those gathered here, and ask that you continue to bless them as they soon embark on a journey of new aspirations, new experiences, and new commitments. May you keep them grounded, safe in the knowledge that through you, all things are possible. We ask all this through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'd like to thank all of you for joining us this evening, all moms and dads, aunts, uncles, grandparents, brothers, sisters, and especially those members of the class of 2020 who are here with us. As pictured on your screen now, do you remember that photo? That was taken before any of us knew what the word COVID was, right? <laughs> During Spirit Week. And so this is my reminder to remind you that tomorrow, Friday, between the hours of 12 p.m. and 6 p.m., we'd like to see all of you on campus for a virtual drive-through cap and gown distribution, but it's so much more than just your caps and gowns. Every award that was earned this evening, we will have available for you as you drive through our student parking lot. So be sure to stay in the car. Uh, but you'll drive through, we'll have various stations, um, and a variety of different remembrances as well, including this photograph that you're all looking at right now. Um, we want to make this as special as we can. Um, the last stop um, tomorrow will be just that, to receive your cap and gown. I'd like everybody to keep praying for an in-person graduation on Friday, July 17th. That is everyone's prayer and hope. Um, we will I, we will keep updated as to any announcements that are made in that regard. Congratulations, everyone, class of 2020, moms and dads. God bless all of you. Good night, everyone. God bless. <laughs>